This video aims to be a blueprint for anybody who's trying to figure out what their work is worth. This may be the number one video I wish I had when I was first starting out. So if it's helpful, make sure to check out the other ones on my channel. All right, let's start with my very first project. So this was my first paid project ever. It was a hundred dollars. Frankly, I was just grateful to have someone say yes to me. And honestly, it was pretty easy to do. Now, if somebody approached me to do this today, I would tell them that I can only take on projects where I charge more, and then more than likely I would just send them over to somebody in my Discord server who's looking for a smaller client. Alright, so this client was actually my co-worker in my last job I had before I switched to full-time 3D. He ran this clothing brand and just needed some simple visuals. He actually originally offered me $30, but my pride was too great to work for that low, so I worked him up to $80. I also paid $16 for this trucker hat model, so this brings my net profit down to $64. Obviously this price is totally unsustainable for somebody living in the United States, but it was one of my first projects and, and I was mostly okay with that since I was just starting out. Now if somebody approached me for something like this today, obviously I think this is unfairly low, but if someone wanted me to do this again today, I would tell them that I, they need to figure out how to get between $1,000 and $1,500 worth of work from me. So that could mean animations, perhaps a more advanced background. Obviously I do a better work now than I did three years ago. Also a bunch of stills and some transparent renders. But here's the thing, I don't really do clothes because clothes are complicated and the clients who are doing clothes usually operate on really thin margins and or they just don't have a high budget. So with these first two projects, the clients just don't really have much more money to spend, hence why they want something really small and quick, which is a solid reminder to go fishing where the fish are. Even if you're a good 3D artist, not everyone has the money to pay you, so it might, it might actually just be the clients and not you if you can't get larger deals. Alright, now I did a number of animations and stills for this company, quite a few actually, and it was $2,000. I should also clarify that I edited all of my animations together for this video, so this isn't an attempt to be a commercial even though it could be a good one. Anyways, I think for $2,000 this was mostly fair. I really, really liked working on this project. I think the aesthetic of it is so awesome. Kind of my dream project, quite honestly. The only thing I want to say is I feel like these people weren't super clear in their brief, nor was I that good of a communicator. They paid me for seven animations, which is what you're seeing here. And I will say they are, they are all very simple, but there was just so much back and forth about what the expectations were that I ended up doing double or almost triple the work that I should have in order to get this done. So I think $2,000 would have been fair had I been more clear or maybe had there been some sort of pricing structure for, for uh, like revisions, but they got like 30 stills out of me basically trying to get their vision right. But yeah, I enjoyed doing this project so much that I don't really have any hard feelings. And yeah, I would probably charge between two and 3,000 for, for all of these again. Now here's another one where I just edited a couple examples of the project together but I did 16 total 90 frame looping animations like this, and the grand total was $6,900. So 12 of these 16 were actually redone three times because the company decided they wanted to change some details on the label. So that just meant receiving the new label, switching out the details on the packages, just changing the image texture, and they still paid me generously for each revision, even though I didn't ask. I should also mention that one day I woke up to a $500 payment from the client, basically just saying, hey, these are awesome, but can you just add a tiny bit more detail? This quite frankly was like a client from heaven. The work was so simple, I just modeled a couple boxes. The sandwiches inside are the hardest thing for sure. But I basically just had to model some boxes and that little one pack package that you guys are seeing here in blue. And yeah, was it a bit tedious to render something 12 times? Yeah, but dude, for 6,900, no problem. So allow me to go on a quick tangent here. This client was actually not part of the company. This client was given a large sum of money basically by the company to redesign their brand and hire whoever he needed to make it as good as possible. So he found me through some other work I did for somebody else. The fact that he wasn't spending his own money was the reason he was able to let go of it so easily. I'm not sure how much he was working with, but he had no problem just send, sending me payment after payment. So my personal goal is to get to the point where I'm working with large enough companies where I'm not dealing with brand owners who are spending their own money. Even super rich people are often pretty pressed about letting go of their own money, even if it's for a business expense. Whereas if a company receives a bunch of funding from like a venture capitalist, investor, whatever, or they're large enough to have a marketing director with a company credit card, closing deals quickly becomes less about the money and more about whoever's spending the money just impressing who's above them. So when you're 
you're dealing with a brand owner, the difference between $2,000 and $5,000 for some creative work is really, really substantial. They're thinking about all of the money that they can put into marketing, all of the money that they can pay themselves. But if there's a preset budget, you basically just need to prove that you're worth part of that budget. And if a company is rebranding and they have $100,000 to play with creatively, the marketing director or whoever is spending that money might just go in and pay whatever you say as long as you have the work done on time. So yeah, this project here with the sandwiches was a major breakthrough for me because it, it made me realize just how, just how much more abundant it feels when you work with people who aren't spending their own money. So this was a major breakthrough for me. I hope it was for you guys too. Um, and just another reminder to fish where the fish are. Now for a fun one, this was an NFT project I was part of and it took me probably a couple hundred hours. I was, in, I was in charge of texturing all of these ugly things up to the owner of the project's specifications. I was new, I was blinded, I wasn't thinking straight. I put easily a hundred hours. There were times where I was on vacation, staying in my room on my laptop working on this project, generating 10,000 of these stupid things. And originally I was under the impression I was getting $13,000 for this in Ethereum. So I'm thinking to myself, oh, it's Ethereum, so it could rise in the future. This could, you know, buy me a house later. Well, just like a lot of things in the crypto and NFT space, the developers actually ended up bailing on me when once I delivered this project. So yeah, it was stupid. I haven't heard from them since. I basically sent the file over. They uh, reacted to the message and... It's been total silence ever since. So it hurt a little bit, you know, thinking about how much of my life I spent working on this. But these things look stupid anyways, so I think it's fine. Anyways, I hope you guys got some value out of this video. As usual, I'm trying to fill the void of like actually usable business advice on YouTube. I remember how it was when I was starting and really all I want to do is make videos about the things that I wish I could find, so. I hope you all enjoyed and I just wanted to formally invite all of you to join the Discord server if you want help with anything related to art or business. We have like 600 people in there who are open ears and willing to help. But if you want more content about making money with 3D, this is the place to be. So please join me and hit me with a like and subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. See ya.